the history of Ibiza and Formentera. Evolution. The solar system is suggested on the left. A comet explodes in the atmosphere. The Earth has taken shape. Life evolves from a primitive cell to complex organisms. A saurian emerges from the primeval waters, and a primate, a primitive man and his woman companion, walk towards the future. Prehistory. Around 5000 BC, Neolithic people migrate from the Iberian Peninsula. Life is difficult, as there are only sea mammals, fish and birds to hunt. At the end of the Copper Age, around 1800 BC, a new population arrives. People dwell in caves and huts, practicing basic sheep and The Phoenicians. These intrepid seamen from Tyre and other city-states trade crystalware, gold, lead, silver, tin, weapons and material dyed with purpura. They also bring citrus fruits to the producers. Figs, grapes, pomegranates, olive oil, vegetables and wine to trade for wood, salt and salt fish. They might have introduced the Ibifenkan hounds to the islands. Visits of the Greeks. Greeks also trade with Ibiza and Formentera, naming them the Pitusas because of the abundance of pine trees. They exchange wine and bronze weapons for salt, salted fish, and fresh vegetables. Ulysses, according to the legend, is seen here sailing near Esvedra, tied to his mast. The islanders are famous slingers, using the basetia for hunting and fighting. Carthaginians and Romans. Carthage, founded near modern Tunis, controls trade in the Mediterranean, and by 654 BC, the island population is basically Carthaginian. Hannibal hires Ibithencan slingers to fight the Roman legions. There are scenes of Punic wars with elephants and Roman war machines. A treaty is signed, and Ibiza becomes a Roman city named Ebusus. Romans and Carthaginians. The island population is now under Roman rule, and people are worshipping Roman and Carthaginian gods, and using coins of both cultures. Near the Santa Eulalia Bridge, probably built around those times, people are bathing. Agriculture is more developed, with wells and irrigation systems. Romans. In the city and country mansions, refinement is now accessible. We see musicians, dancers, teachers, and couples courting. In the countryside, basically life goes on as usual. Young men tread grapes to make wine, which is stored in the amphora and loaded onto Roman trade ships. There are men salting fish. The Vandals. When the Roman Empire collapses, it is divided into two parts. The western part is invaded by Germanic tribes. One such group, the Vandals, are evicted from Iberia by the Visigoths and moved to Tunis, from where they take control of the Pitusas. Looting, destroying, raping and pillaging the locals, the Vandals don't leave much behind culturally. The Byzantines. Constantinople, now Istanbul, becomes the most important city in the Mediterranean, and Justinian defeats the Vandal Empire, capturing Ibiza in 535 AD. Bishops and priests arrive and convert the population. Scholars are discussing the essence of Jesus Christ. In the countryside, life goes on as usual. The Moors. In 707 AD, Captain Abdallah ibn Musk raids the Balearics with his fleet. Islanders feel the Arab influence and from 902 AD onwards are integrated into their civilization for a long period of tolerance and prosperity. Arabs bring improvements in agriculture and irrigation. The Moors. Ibosin, Ibiza and Formentera are under Muslim influence, culture and technology. The land is very productive with facies, almond picking and sheep. 
Below are displayed a still for distillation, an afanor for alchemy, a small ceramic fountain, and vases, books, and a musical instrument. On the right is the Portal of San Siriaco, where the Catalan and Aragonese conquerors entered the old town. The Catalans. On the 12th of April, 1234 AD, with the authorization of King James of Aragon, the Archbishop of Tarragona, Guillem de Mongri, together with Don Pedro de Portugal and Don Nuno Sanz, conquer the islands. The Catalans. The Arabs leave the island of Ibiza from the Cove of Pau de Gileu. The Catalan army celebrates grilling lamb and there is profusion of drinking. Ibiza is divided into three regions along the lines of the previous Moorish divisions. Christianity returns. Peasants are plowing the fields, shearing sheep and gathering wool. The Catalans. A local market situated near a defense tower the Pitusas Islands are constantly subject to piracy from North African Moors and other Mediterranean invaders. Preparing garlic strings, figs are cut in half, and frigula, thyme, is added. A peasant blowing a conch shell, and a Jeanette watches a robin and a wagtail. Social life. Christian customs and religion are established, and a few churches are built. Christopher Columbus, who might have been a Bithenko, is selling his projects of discovery to the Catholic kings Ferdinand of Aragon and Isabel of Castile. Mules are treading the corn grain on an aria. Peasants sort the grain, observed by city merchants. There is bread being baked in a typical bread oven. The Corsairs. Ibiza is attacked frequently by pirates coming from the Ottoman Empire and other places like France, England and others. A group of Ibithenko Corsairs, showing their Corso license, are talking while keeping watch on Turkish prisoners. A group of smugglers disembark tobacco and alcohol. Boat building on the shipyard and yaouts, chabekes and galleys are moored in the bay. The War of Succession. King Carlos II passes the crown of Spain to Philippe, Duke of Anjou. But in 1706, the Archduke of Austria sends in an Anglo-Dutch fleet to conquer the island. The local government, known as the University, agrees. The Bishop Abad de la Sierra brings reforms, encouraging peasants to plant fruit and nut trees and promoting construction of seven churches. Fishermen talk and two peasants collect seaweed for roof and Harvesting. The Civil War. In 1936, the Civil War starts. Ibiza and Formentera are subject to tragic episodes by both the Nationalists and the Republicans. Hundreds of people are shot. In the lower center, there is a matanza for the annual killing of a fattened pig to make sobrasada and butifarra. Typical baile pages with traditional costumes and music. the arrival of tourism. It is a time of reconstruction, the renovation of fincas and the building of hotels, because tourism is changing the economy. Payeses near Escamio, the old bus from Ibiza to Santa Eulalia. In the harbor, hippies arrive and are welcomed by an elderly Ibithenkan lady. Let's go have a party, man. Hunters, workmen at the Salinas salt flats and the train that carried salt to the harbor. The Guardia Civil are watching tourists bathing naked to give them a fine. Modern times. There is a hippie market where tourists gather for handicraft and jewelry. Lots of people are going towards a far beach with Esvedra in the distance. Celebration of a full moon party up on the hills with drummers, dancers and hippies generally having a good time. What will the future bring? The future of Ibiza and Formentera is now tied to the influence of the world at large. Let us hope for the best.